So I'm wondering if anyone else like gets dressed up for their doctor like you're going on a date or something. It's like I have this weird need for t for him to see me sort of at my best. <laughs> I don't know. Um, also, does anyone else crave a large pizza after your appointment, even though it was discussed in the appointment <laughs> that you really should avoid those kinds of things? Yeah. A year ago, my debit card and I would have eaten this small alive after a doctor's appointment. I'm talking multiple food court visits, shoes, fragrances, all of that. But uh, did the right thing and kept it moving today. Yo, I'm telling you. Try okay, here's what happened with the closet. So... I don't, I don't even know where to start, but basically I put my little bins in and it was great, but I just wanted a little more. Fortunately, in this same order were some dinner plates that I purchased. Um, and a, I repurchased them because the first time I ordered them from Ikea, like half of them were broken and I didn't say anything or do anything about it. However, this time it was broken again. So I, I did something about it and I basically got a refund and I used that refund to buy more bins. So I now have my cleaning supplies in some bins. I've got my little six tier grooming bin and I even have a little tab light. Now it gets a little sketchy because I was going to have a large bin here with all the soaps and I really, really uh, I guess undershot on the dimensions. And so, um, it, it ended up being half the size. Fortunately, I bought two because I was going to have my towel storage, um, you know, be in one too. So it was supposed to be large bin, little bin, large bin, little bins. Uh, but that didn't work out. So I just had to, uh, rework it, but it's still bins. Um, the problem is if I try to, there isn't the next size up from this is like huge. And I, I basically don't think I'm going to be able to get it in there. So I don't know. Uh, first world problems. Absolutely. But, uh, so right now we've got bins, bins, cute light, uh, all the soaps we can need. And I actually got this. <laughs> little half curtain from Amazon so that I don't have to look at my suitcase in there. So it's like, and it's also sort of an off-white, so it's basically, you know, it's coming along. Uh, I'd say all in all, about 50 bucks, like not bad at all. Okay, so many of you guys might remember from my apartment tour, I had a Miles Davis print where he's playing the trumpet and it's like totally vertical. Uh, it's just an amazing piece. I've wanted to have it framed for so long and I finally decided to go for it, so. Um, it was in this sort of cheap frame for a number of years. I'm finally getting rid of that. I'm taking that downstairs into our like little free bin area and I have rolled the print up and packaged it and I'm sending it off to Framebridge. Uh, so sadly, I'm on my way to work. Fortunately, there is a UPS very close by, so I'm gonna dump that off downstairs, the frame, take my little tube to UPS, grab a coffee, and then be miserable for a couple hours. Okay, so that is 
is that? It's dropped off and now it's probably going to be about three weeks. We'll see what happens. Oh, person yelling. It's like I'm just minding my own light skin business and this is like a pet grooming store and in my mind I need this dog. Doing the bare minimum for all basic colors coffee, including this guy. Little Starbies. So it's about 8.30 in the morning and I just woke up. Uh, I really wanna be super low key today. I've got the day off. The only thing I need to do for sure is it wouldn't kill me to pick up a few groceries. Uh, but I also found this I found this basket on Facebook Marketplace, but hear me out, it's it's only five bucks, uh, but it's like the perfect basket for the sort of hallway closet. Um, <clears throat> I just want something I can dump all my gloves and hats um, into. It's, silly I know but I feel like since I'm going out anyway I'd like to coordinate around getting that basket so you know I'm pretty flexible as to what grocery store I go to uh, so I'm just trying to think of a place that's sort of close by I want to be out like one time it's a one shot deal uh, so I'm going to grocery shop, get the basket, and <laughs> probably pick up lunch, even though I am going grocery shopping, and then come back home and spend the rest of the day here. So hopefully that happens. For at least the past year, I've been doing this thing where I take my flat sheet and comforter and roll it into a burrito so that I can wrap my leg around it and then I use another blanket to cover myself up. Sounds strange, but it's actually very effective. Shocked that I motivated, got my life together and got that basket, y'all. Now I'm off to Trader Joe's and then taking my ass home. Okay, and we're back. And thank God, because I'm not doing anything else the rest of the day outside of this building. I do have to do laundry, and I may need to make dinner, but uh, <laughs> if, it's, if it's outside of this building, it, it ain't happening today, for sure. So, uh, yeah, so check out my stuff. Okay, this is mostly a Trader Joe's haul, but I did go to a Safeway right next door because you know that Trader Joe's ain't got the mini colas and I got to have them. So uh, basically these are the things I needed. I wanted some pasta and I wanted some salmon. And <laughs> you guys already know these are the things that I also 
purchased. Uh, nothing super, super bad. However, these like little bleed bites might have to move to the need category. Like I didn't know I needed them, but I do. Thank God this trip wasn't in vain. It's like I just made it spatially speaking, but I couldn't be happier. So all my hats and gloves uh, and a couple of scarves are now resting comfortably in there uh, beside my Marc Jacobs boots and my L.L. Bean boots. So that's, and then all my jackets, of course. So this is my entryway closet, you know, uh, which is another project coming. Almost immediately after unpacking everything and stuffing my face, I decided to have yet another lay down and I'm not going to feel guilty about it. Hey, I mean, it's my day off. What do you folks do on your days off? Thanks for watching and I hope I'll see you again soon.